Black Widow is a fictional character, appearing in comic books published by Marvel Comics. Created by editor and plotter Stan Lee, scripter Don Rico, and artist Don Heck, the character first appeared in Tales of Suspense No. 52. The character was first introduced as a Russian spy, an antagonist of the superhero Iron Man. She later defected to the United States, becoming an agent of the fictional spy agency SHIELD, and a member of the superhero team The Avengers. Scarlett Johansson portrayed the character in the films Iron Man 2, Marvel's The Avengers, and Captain America, The Winter Soldier and is set to reprise the role in the upcoming Avengers, Age of Ultron as a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe franchise. Publication History The Black Widow's first appearances were as a recurring, non-costumed, Russian spy antagonist in the feature Iron Man, beginning in Tales of Suspense No. 52. Five issues later, she recruited the besotted costumed archer and later superhero Hawkeye to her cause. Her government later supplied her with her first Black Widow costume and high-tech weaponry, but she eventually defected to the United States after appearing, temporarily brainwashed against the U.S., in the superhero team series The Avengers No. 29. The Widow later became a recurring ally of the team before officially becoming its 16th member. The Black Widow appeared for the first time in her trademark skin-tight black costume in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 86. In short order, she starred in her own series in Amazing Adventures No. 1 a Euro 8, sharing that split book with the feature in Humans. Immediately after her initial solo feature ended, the Black Widow co-starred in Daredevil No. 81 a Euro 124 and then in the Super Team series The Champions, which ran 17 issues. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, the Black Widow appeared frequently as both an Avengers member and a freelance agent of SHIELD. She starred in a serialized feature within the Omnibus comic book series Marvel Fanfare No. 10 a Euro 13, written by George Parr copyright Rez and Ralph Macchio, with art by Penciler Perez. These stories were collected in the one-shot Black Widow, Web of Intrigue No. 1. The Widow guest starred in issues of Solo Avengers, Force Works, Iron Man, Marvel Team-Up, and other comics. She appeared in several mid-1980s issues of Daredevil, as well as a four-issue arc in issues number 368 a Euro 371 and as a recurring guest in Daredevil Vol. 2. She co-starred in two graphic novels a Euro Fury Black Widow, Death Duty with Nick Fury, Marvel UK's Night Raven and Punisher Black Widow, spinning Doomsday's web with a Punisher a Euro as well as a three-issue arc, The Fire Next Time, by writer Scott Lubdell and penciler Randy Green, in Journey into Mystery No. 517 a Euro 519. A new ongoing Black Widow comic title debuted in April 2010. The first story arc was written by Marjorie Liu with art by Daniel Acuna. Beginning with issue number six, the title began being written by Dwayne Swierzynski, with artwork by Manuel Garcia and Lorenzo Rogliero. Black Widow appeared as a regular character throughout the 2010 Euro 2013 Secret Avengers series, from issue number one through its final issue number 37. Black Widow will appear in the new 2013 Secret Avengers series by Nick Spencer and Luke Ross. Black Widow is set to appear in her own relaunched ongoing series by writer Nathan Edmondson and artist Phil Noto. The first issue debuted in January 2014. Limited series and specials, aside from the arcs in Marvel Fanfare and Journey into Mystery, The Black Widow has starred in four limited series and four graphic novels. The three-issue Black Widow, under the Marvel Knights imprint, starred Romanova and fully introduced her appointed successor. Captain Yelena Belova, who had briefly appeared in an issue of the 1999 series Inhumans. The writer for the story arc, the Itsy Bitsy Spider was Devin K. Grayson while J.G. Jones was the artist. The next three issue, Marvel Knights miniseries, also titled Black Widow featured both Black Widows in the story arc breakdown, by writers Devin Grayson and Greg Rucker with painted art by Scott Hampton. Romanova next starred in another solo miniseries titled Black Widow, Homecoming, also under the Marvel Knights imprint and written by science fiction novelist Richard K. Morgan, 
with art initially by Bill Sankaiyich and later by Sankaiyich over Guran Parlov layouts. A six-issue sequel, Black Widow, The Things They Say About Her, by writer Morgan, penciler Sean Phillips, and Inko Sankaiyich, picks up immediately where the previous miniseries left off, continuing the story using many of the same characters. She starred in the solo graphic novel Black Widow, The Coldest War, and co-starred in three more, Punisher Black Widow, Spinning Doomsday's Web, Daredevil Black Widow, Abattoir, and Nick Fury Black Widow, Death Duty, also co-starring Marvel UK's Night Raven. Black Widow is also featured in the short story Love is Blindness in I Heart Marvel, Marvel I No. 1, where she instigates a humorous fight with Elektra over Daredevil's affections. The comic is stylized to look like Japanese animation and uses images, not words, inside the speech and thought bubbles to convey what the characters are saying thinking. In 2010, the year in which the character, called only Natasha Romanoff, made her film debut in Iron Man 2, The Black Widow received two separate miniseries. Black Widow and the Marvel Girls was an all-ages, four-issue series that chronicled her adventures with various women of the Marvel Universe including Storm, She-Hulk, The Enchantress, and Spider-Woman. It was written by Paul Tobin, with art by Salvador Espin and Takeshi Miyazawa. The second four-issue miniseries, Black Widow, Deadly Origin, was written by Paul Cornell, and featured art by Tom Rainey and John Paul Leon. Fictional Character Biography, Early Life Natasha was born in Stalingrad, Russia. The first and best-known Black Widow is a Russian agent trained as a spy, martial artist, and sniper, and outfitted with an arsenal of high-tech weaponry, including a pair of wrist-mounted energy weapons dubbed her Widow's Bite. She wears no costume during her first few appearances but simply evening wear and a veil. Romanova eventually defects to the U.S. for reasons that include her love for the reluctant criminal-turned-superhero Archer, Hawkeye. First hints to Natasha Romanova's childhood come by Ivan Petrovich, who is introduced as her middle-aged chauffeur and confident in the Black Widow's 1970s amazing adventures. The man tells Matt Murdock how he had been given custody of little Natasha by a woman just before her death during the Battle of Stalingrad in autumn 1942. He had consequently felt committed to raise the orphan as a surrogate father and he had eventually trained as a Soviet spy being eager to help her homeland. In another flashback, set in the fictional island of Madripoor in 1941, Petrovich helps Captain America and the mutant Logan, who would later become the Canadian super-agent and costumed hero Wolverine, to rescue Natasha from Nazis. A revised, retconned origin establishes her as being raised from very early childhood by the USSR's Black Widow Ops program, rather than solely by Ivan Petrovich. Petrovich had taken her to Department X, with other young female orphans, where she was brainwashed, and trained in combat and espionage at the Cover Red Room facility. There, she is biotechnologically and psychotechnologically enhanced a Euro in accounting that provides a rationale for her unusually long and youthful lifespan. During that time she had some training under Winter Soldier, and the pair even had a short romance. Each Black Widow is deployed with false memories to help ensure her loyalty. Romanova eventually discovers this, including the fact that she had never, as she had believed, been a ballerina. She further discovers that the Red Room is still active as two are. Natasha was arranged by the KGB to marry the renowned Soviet test pilot Alexei Shostakov. However, when the Soviet government decided to make Alexei into their new operative, the Red Guardian, he is told that he can have no further contact with his wife. Natasha is told that he had died and is trained as a secret agent separately. The Avengers, Romanova grew up to serve as a femme fatale. She was assigned to assist Boris Turgenev in the assassination of Professor Anton Vanko for defecting from the Soviet Union, which served as her first mission in the United States. Natasha and Turgenev infiltrated Stark Industries as part of the plan. She attempted to manipulate information from American defense contractor Tony Stark, and inevitably confronted his superhero alter ego, Iron Man. The pair then battled Iron Man, and Turgenov steals and wears the Crimson Dynamo suit. 
Banco sacrificed himself to save Iron Man, killing Turgenov in the process, using an unstable experimental laser light pistol. Romanova later meets the criminal archer Hawkeye and sets him against Iron Man, and later helped Hawkeye battle Iron Man. Natasha once more attempted to get Hawkeye to help her destroy Iron Man. The pair almost succeeded, but when Black Widow was injured, Hawkeye retreated to get her to safety. During this period, Romanova was attempting to defect from the Soviet Union and began falling in love with Hawkeye, weakening her loyalty to her country. When her employers learned the truth, the KGB had her gunned down, sending her to a hospital, convincing Hawkeye to go straight and seek membership in the Avengers. The Red Room kidnaps and brainwashes her again, and with the Swordsman and the First Power Man, she battles the Avengers. She eventually breaks free from her psychological conditioning, and does successfully defect, having further adventures with Spider-Man, with Hawkeye and with Daredevil. She ultimately joins the Avengers as a costumed heroine herself. S-H-I-E-L-D and Daredevil. Later still, she begins freelancing as an agent of the international espionage group S-H-I-E-L-D. She is sent on a secret S-H-I-E-L-D. Mission to China by Nick Fury. There, with the Avengers, she battles Colonel Ling, General Brushov, and her ex-husband the Red Guardian. For a time, as writer Les Daniels noted in a contemporaneous study in 1971, her left-wing upbringing was put to better use, and she has lately taken to fighting realistic oppressor of the people types. She helps young Puerto Ricans clean up police corruption and saves young hippies from organized crime. A. The splash page of Amazing Adventures No. 3 reflects the recent trend toward involving fantastic characters in contemporary social problems, a move which has gained widespread publicity for Marvel and its competitor, DC. During her romantic involvement with Matt Murdock in San Francisco, she operates as an independent superhero alongside Murdock's alter ego. Daredevil. There she tries unsuccessfully to find a new career for herself as a fashion designer. Eventually, her relationship with Murdoch stagnates, and after briefly working with Avengers finally breaks up with Murdoch. During a Hydra attempt to take over SHIELD, she is tortured to such an extent that she regresses back to an old cover identity of schoolteacher Nancy Rushman but she is recovered by Spider-Man in time to help Nick Fury and Shang-Chi work out what had happened and restore her memory, with Nancy developing an attraction to Spider-Man before her memory is restored during the final fight against Madame Viper, Boomerang and the Silver Samurai. She later returns to Matt Murdock's life just as he begins dating another woman, Heather Glenn, prompting her to leave New York. After being poisoned by members of the Hand, Natasha refused medical aid and fought her way past SHIELD. Agents in a bid to seek out Matt. Her body briefly succumbed to the poison, but she was revived by Stone, a pupil of Matt's mentor stick. Natasha found that Matt had been going through personal hardships in light of his one true love, Electra's reappearance, apparent betrayal, surprising redemption, and recent murder. She also reconciled with Foggy and learned from him that Matt's relationship with his fiancée Heather had degenerated into a bitter, almost misogynistic power struggle stemming from Matt's depression over Electra's death. Natasha and Foggy arranged for the two to break up, sending forged farewell letters to both parties. Despite helping Matt to overcome the hand and revive Electra, Natasha realized that Matt still only thought of her in platonic terms, despite how much they loved the other and elected to restrain herself from any advances. The champions, after their breakup, the widow moves to Los Angeles and becomes leader of the newly created and short-lived super team known as the Champions, consisting of her, Ghost Rider, Hercules, and former X-Men Angel and Iceman. Her friends often call her Natasha, the informal version of Natalia. She has sometimes chosen the last name alias Romanov a Euro evidently as a private joke on those who are not aware that Russian family names use different endings for males and females. She has been hinted to be a descendant of the destroyed Roman of royal family and a relation to Nicholas II of Russia. 21st century, Natasha crosses Daredevil's path again when he attempts to slay an infant he believes to be the Antichrist. After Daredevil's one-time love, Karen Page 
dies protecting the child, Natasha reconciles with Murdoch, revealing she still loves him, but noting that he is too full of anger to commit to a relationship with her. Natasha is challenged by Elena Belova, a graduate from the training program through which Natasha herself was taught the espionage trade, who is the first to ever surpass Natasha's marks and considers herself the rightful successor to the Black Widow mantle. Natasha refers to her as Little One, and Ruskia, and encourages her to discover her individuality rather than live in blind service, asking her, why be Black Widow, when you can be Yelena Belova? After several confrontations, Natasha subjects Yelena to intense psychological manipulation and suffering in order to teach her the reality of the espionage business, and an angry but disillusioned Yelena eventually returns home and temporarily quits being a spy. Although Matt Murdock is appalled by the cruelty of Natasha's treatment of Yelena, Nick Fury describes the action as Natasha's attempt at saving Yelena's life. After bringing the Avengers and the Thunderbolts together to overcome Count Nefaria, Natasha supported Daredevil's short-lived efforts to form a new super team to capture the Punisher, originally believed to be Nick Fury's murderer. Despite recruitment endeavors, however, this vigilante group folded shortly after she and her teammate Dagger fought an army of renegade SHIELD androids. Ironically, she soon afterward worked with both Daredevil and Punisher against the European crime syndicate managed by the Brothers Grace. Months later, her pursuit of war criminal Anatoly Krylenko led to a clash with Hawkeye, whose pessimism regarding heroic activities now rivaled her own. Shortly after the Scarlet Witch's insanity seemingly killed Hawkeye, and again disbanded the Avengers, Natasha, weary of espionage and adventure, traveled to Arizona but was targeted. Natasha discovers that other women had been trained in the Black Widow program, and all are now being hunted down and killed by the North Institute on behalf of the corporation Jainakan. Natasha's investigations led her back to Russia where she was appalled to learn the previously unimagined extent of her past manipulation, and she discovered the widows were being hunted because Jainakan, having purchased Russian biotechnology from Red Room's successor agency 2R, wanted all prior users of the technology dead. Natasha finds and kills the mastermind of the Black Widow murders, an aging CEO who intended to use part of their genetic structure to create a new chemical weapon. After killing Jainak and CEO Ian McMasters, she clashed with operatives of multiple governments to help Sally Ann Carter, a girl Natasha had befriended in her investigations, whom she rescued with help from Daredevil and Yelena Belova. She soon returned the favor for Daredevil by reluctantly working with Electra Nachios to protect his new wife, Miller Donovan, from the FBI and others although Yelena proved beyond help when she agreed to be transformed into the new super adaptoid by AIM and Hydra, Civil War Initiative. During the superhero Civil War, Natasha becomes a supporter of the Superhuman Registration Act and a member of the Torsk Force led by Iron Man. Afterward, the registered Natasha joins the reconstituted Avengers. When S-H-I-E-L-D Director Tony Stark is presumed killed and Deputy Director Maria Hill incapacitated, Natasha assumes temporary command of SHIELD as the highest ranking agent present. Later, Tony Stark assigns Natasha to convey the late Captain America's shield to a secure location, but is intercepted by her former lover, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, who steals the shield. Natasha and the Falcon then rescue Barnes from the Red Skull's minions and bring him to the SHIELD. Helicrea, where Stark convinces Bucky to become the new Captain America. Afterward, Natasha accompanies Bucky as his partner for a brief time until she is called back by SHIELD. She later rejoins him in Falcon for the final confrontation with the Red Skull, helping to rescue Sharon Carter. She and Bucky have restarted their relationship. She later plays an important role in the capture of Hercules. However, due to her respect of the Greek god, she let him go. Soon Natasha, along with the rest of the Avengers, gets involved in the current Skrull invasion. Afterwards, she stayed as Bucky's partner. She also assists former director Maria Hill in delivering a special form of data to Bucky. Thunderbolts, Norman Osborn discovered Yelena Belova breaking into an abandoned SHIELD facility. 
and offered her the position of field leader of the new Thunderbolts. On her first mission, she and Ant-Man take control of Air Force One with the Goblin, Doc Sampson, and the new president aboard. It was suggested she faked her apparent death but it is never explained how. A conversation with the ghost implies that Yelena is working as a mole for someone else and that she may even be someone else disguised as Yelena. She is later seen talking privately through a cam link to Nick Fury. Osborne orders Yelena to lead the current Thunderbolts to kill former Thunderbolt, Songbird. Fury orders Yelena to rescue and retrieve Songbird, for the information she might possess about Osborne and his operations. Yelena finds Songbird, and reveals to her that she was really Natasha Romanova in disguise. She tries delivering Songbird to Fury, but the Thunderbolts have also followed them. The trio are captured as Osborne reveals he had been impersonating Fury in messages all along to set Natasha up in order to strengthen the Thunderbolts and lead him to Fury. She and Songbird are brought to be executed but manage to escape when Ant-Man, Headsman and Paladin turn on the rest of the Thunderbolts and let them go. Heroic Age At the start of the Heroic Age, Natasha is recruited by Steve Rogers into a new Black Ops wing of the Avengers, dubbed the Secret Avengers. She travels to Dubai with her new teammate, Valkyrie, where they steal a dangerous artifact which the Beast then studies, noting that it seems like a distant cousin of the Serpent Crown. In the story Coppelia, she encounters a teenage clone of herself, codenamed Tiny Dancer, whom she rescued from an arms dealer. During the Ends of the Earth storyline involving one of Dr. Octopus's schemes, Natasha is one of only three heroes left standing after the Sinister Six defeat the Avengers joining Silver Sable and Spider-Man to track the Six. She is later contacted by the Titanium Man to warn her and her allies about Dr. Octopus' attempt to rally other villains against Spider-Man. She is knocked out along with Hawkeye by Iron Man during a battle against the Avengers when they were temporarily under Octavia's remote control. Powers and Abilities The Black Widow is a world-class athlete, gymnast, acrobat, Aerialist capable of numerous complex maneuvers and feats, expert martial artist, marksman, and weapons specialist as well as having extensive espionage training. She is also an accomplished ballerina. Natasha has received the Red Room's variant of the Super Soldier Serum. As a result, her physical and mental abilities had been enhanced slightly beyond human limits. The Black Widow has been enhanced by biotechnology that makes her body resistant to aging and disease and heals at an above human rate. As well as psychological conditioning that suppresses her memory of true events as opposed to implanted ones of the past without the aid of specially designed system suppressant drugs. The Soviet experimentation has rendered her body infertile. Due to the Super Soldier Serum, the white blood cells in her body are efficient enough to fight off any microbe foreign body and others from her body, keeping her healthy and immune to most, if not all infections, diseases and disorders. Also, it takes quite a bit for Natasha to become intoxicated. Her agility is greater than that of an Olympic gold medalist. She can coordinate her body with balance, flexibility, and dexterity easily. Her bodily tissues have been augmented to superhuman development. She possesses exceptional durability, strength, endurance, and stamina. Natasha's reaction time is similarly enhanced and functions with a peak of human efficiency and capability, bordering on a superhuman level. It is possible for Natasha to dodge a bullet even at point-blank range. Natasha has a gifted intellect. She displays an uncanny affinity for psychological manipulation and can mask her real emotions perfectly. Like Steve Rogers, she possesses the ability to quickly process multiple information streams and rapidly respond to changing tactical situations. Natasha is an expert tactician. She is a very effective strategist, tactician, and field commander. She has led the Avengers and even SHIELD. On one occasion, within 2010's Black Widow, Deadly Origin Miniseries, Another level to the biotechnology is that Natasha has been subjected to wear nanites, designed to be passed from her body with even the slightest touch. These nanites were a part of something called the Ice Pick Protocol, and when activated could incite someone to homicidal rage. 
a counter form of these were also introduced to her body so as she could neutralize the activated nanites in another. Equipment The Black Widow uses a variety of equipment invented by Soviet scientists and technicians, with later improvements by SHIELD. Scientists and Technicians she usually wears distinctively shaped bracelets which fire the widow's bite electrostatic energy blasts that can deliver charges up to 30,000 volts, as well as widow's line grappling hooks, tear gas pellets, along with a new element introduced during her ongoing series during the kiss or kill arc called the widow's kiss. An aerosol instant knockout gas she has modified. She wears a belt of metallic discs, some with disc charges containing plastic explosives. Others have been shown to be compartments to house other equipment. Her costume consists of synthetic stretch fabric equipped with micro suction cups on fingers and feet, enabling her to adhere to walls and ceilings. In the 2006 Homecoming miniseries, she was seen using knives, unarmed combat, and various firearms, but she has since begun using her bracelets again. While in disguise as Yelena Bolivar when infiltrating the then Osborne sanctioned Thunderbolts during Dark Reign she used a specialized multi-lens goggle head carapace that demonstrated various technical abilities enhancing vision and communication. Later, she has used a modified gun based on her widow's bite wrist cartridge, during her adventures alongside the new Captain America. Supporting Characters Other Versions In Other Media Television Black Widow was to be paired with Daredevil in a proposed live-action 1975 series created and starring by Angie Boy as Black Widow with Ben Carruthers as Daredevil. However, the series never got past the development stage as no studio would take on the project. Black Widow appeared in the Iron Man portion of the Marvel Superheroes, voiced by Peg Dixon. Black Widow appears in the Superhero Squad show episode Deadly is the Black Widow's Bite voiced by Lena Headey. Black Widow appeared in The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, voiced by Vanessa Marshall. Black Widow appears in Iron Man, Armored Adventures, voiced by Ashley Ball. Black Widow appears in Avengers Assemble, voiced by Laura Bailey. Black Widow appears in Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Maximum Overload, voiced by Laura Bailey. Film the ultimate version of Black Widow appears in the Ultimate Avengers animated director video movie and its sequel, Ultimate Avengers 2, voiced by Olivia Dabo. In 2004, Lionsgate Entertainment announced that a Black Widow motion picture, featuring the Natasha Romanova version, was in the script stage by screenwriter-director David Hayter. Lionsgate subsequently dropped the project. Black Widow appears in the 2013 director video anime film Iron Man, Rise of Technovore, voiced by Claire Grant. Black Widow teams up with the Punisher in the anime film Avengers Confidential, Black Widow and Punisher, voiced by Jennifer Carpenter. Marvel Cinematic Universe In March 2009, Scarlett Johansson signed on to play Natasha Romanoff Black Widow in multiple films, beginning with 2010's Iron Man 2. In the film, she is an undercover spy for SHIELD posing as Tony Stark's assistant. Johansson was cast after a scheduling conflict forced Emily Blunt to drop out of the part. On July 16, 2009, Entertainment Weekly released the first publicity images of Johansson as the character. According to Marvel Studios president Kevin Furge, the SHIELD Logo on Black Widow's uniform had to be edited out of teaser material for the film in order to avoid revealing Romanoff's true allegiance, which serves as a plot twist in the film itself. Scarlett Johansson reprised the role in The Avengers. Johansson had expressed a desire to reprise her role in the film and claimed that Marvel Studios was really behind including Black Widow in the movie. At the 2010 San Diego Comic Con International, Director Joss Whedon confirmed that Johansson would be playing Black Widow in the film. Johansson portrayed the role again in the 2014 film Captain America, The Winter Soldier and will reprise her role in the 2015 film Avengers, Age of Ultron. In September 2010 during a press conference for the Iron Man 2 Blu-ray and DVD release, Verge stated we've already started discussions with Scarlett about the idea of a solo movie and have begun putting together concepts but the Avengers comes first. 
In February 2014, Verge stated that, after exploring Black Widow's past in Avengers, Age of Ultron, he liked the idea of exploring her past further in a solo film, which already is development work done for it. Video Games Black Widow appears in the 2005 Punisher video game. She appears in one level as a non-playable character who fights alongside the Punisher. Black Widow appears in the video game Marvel, Ultimate Alliance, voiced by Nika Futterman. She is an exclusive character in the PlayStation Portable version, and in all other versions of the game is a non-playable character. A mod available for the PC version of the game unlocks her as a playable character. Natasha Romanoff is mentioned in the Iron Man game as a possible love interest of Tony Stark's. Black Widow appears in Spider-Man, Web of Shadows, voiced by Sally Sophiatai. Nika Futterman reprises her role in Marvel, Ultimate Alliance 2. Black Widow appears in the Iron Man 2 video game, voiced by Catherine Campion. Black Widow appears as a playable character in the Marvel Superhero Squad, the Infinity Gauntlet video game voiced by Grey Delisle. Black Widow is a playable character in Marvel Super Hero Squad Online, voiced by Laura Bailey. Black Widow is a playable character in the Facebook game Marvel, Avengers Alliance. Black Widow appears as a playable character in the 2012 fighting game Marvel Avengers, Battle for Earth. Black Widow is available as downloadable content for the game Little Big Planet as part of Marvel Costume Kit 5. Black Widow is a playable character in the MMORPG Marvel Heroes. Black Widow is a playable character in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes voiced by Laura Bailey. Black Widow is a playable character in Marvel Avengers Alliance Tactics. Motion Comics Black Widow appears in the Spider-Woman Motion Comics voiced by Joellen Anklam. Theater Black Widow will appear in Marvel Universe, live. As a member of the Avengers. Toys Black Widow was the 72nd figurine in the classic Marvel figurine collection. A figure of Black Widow was released in Wave 8 of Toy Biz 6 Inches Marvel Legends line. There was also a variant chase of Yelena Belova. Another figure was later released in Wave 3 of the two packs, packages with Winter Soldier. Black Widow appeared in Wave 10 of the Marvel Super Hero Squad line, packaged with Captain America. A figure of Black Widow was released in the Champions Boke set in the Marvel Minimates line. Another figure was released in the first tier U-Wave based on the film Iron Man 2. A figure of Black Widow was released in Wave 7 of Hasbro's 3.75 inches Marvel Universe line. Kotobu Kia released a 1-8 PVC statue in 2009 and a 1-7 PVC statue in 2012, both based on artwork from Shunya Yamashita. A Black Widow action figure was planned for, but never released in Hasbro's 3.75 inches Iron Man 2 line. Hot Toys released a 12 inches figure of Black Widow based on her appearance in the film Iron Man 2 in 2010, a second one based on her appearance in the film The Avengers in 2012 and a third one based on her appearance in the film Captain America, The Winter Soldier in 2014. A Lego minifigure of her was included in one of the sets in the Marvel Super Heroes line. Reception The Black Widow was ranked as the 176th greatest comic book character in Wizard magazine. IGN also ranked her as the 74th greatest comic book character stating that wherever conspiracy and treachery are afoot, you can expect the Black Widow to appear to save the day. She was ranked 31st in comics by As Guide's 100 Sexiest Women in Comics list. Bibliography, eponymous series, in addition to appearances in other Marvel comics, The Black Widow has headlined the following self-titled series, Black Widow Vol. 1, No. 1 A Euro 3, Black Widow Vol. 2, No. 1 A Euro 3, Black Widow Vol. 3, No. 1 A Euro 6, Black Widow 2 No. 1 A Euro 6, Black Widow Vol. 4, No. 1 A Euro 8, Black Widow Vol. 5, Ongoing. Additional series, The Black Widow has also starred in the following one-shots, mini-series, and specials, Black Widow, Web of Intrigue one-shot, Marvel Milestones featuring Ghost Rider, Black Widow, and Iceman one-shot, Black Widow and the Marvel Girls No. 1 A Euro 4, Black Widow, Deadly Origin No. 1 A Euro 4, Fear Itself, Black Widow one-shot, 
Widowmaker No. 1 A Euro 4, Original Graphic Novels, The Black Widow has been the focus of several original graphic novels and prestige format. One Shots, Black Widow, The Coldest War Soft Cover Original Graphic Novel, Punisher Slash Black Widow, Spinning Doomsday's Web Soft Cover Original Graphic Novel, Daredevil Slash Black Widow, Abattoir Original Graphic Novel, Fury Slash Black Widow, Death Duty Prestige Format One Shot, Collected Editions, see also. List of Russian Superheroes. References. External links, Black Widow at Marvel.com, Richard Morgan on Black Widow in an interview by Francesco Troccoli, August 2008, Richard K. Morgan Talks Marvel's Black Widow, Comic Book Resources, November 16, 2004, Black Widow at Comics 2 Film, Black Widow at the Internet Movie Database, Black Widow at the Grand Comics Database, Natasha Romanova at the Marvel Directory, Natasha Romanova at Don Markstein's Tunapedia, Natasha Romanova at the Comic Book DB.